Hello, everyone. Welcome to my music theory lesson. This is lesson 3.7, Modes. In today's lesson, I am going to show you how to build modes and identify modes in under 5 seconds. Modes are the set of scales that were used during medieval times. They are rarely used in classical and modern music. However, they appear in almost every music theory lesson and music theory exam. The seven most common modes that you will need to know for exams are Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, and Locrian. Ionian is exactly the same as major. The step pattern is whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. So C Ionian would be the same as C major. E flat major would be the same as E flat Ionian, etc. Even though it is the same as major, you still need to know the name because music theory exams will ask you for the name of the mode. There are three ways to build a Dorian scale. The first way is to take any major scale and write one extra note going up. For example, in C major, we take the scale C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C and keep going up for one extra note, adding D. Finally, we erase the bottom C to get D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. This is called D Dorian. The second way is to take any natural minor scale and raise scale degree 6 by one half step. For example, if we take the D natural minor scale, which is D, E, F, G, A, B flat, C, D, and raise scale degree 6, which is B flat by a half step, we get D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. This is the same result as the previous method. The last way is to start with D and write the notes ascending following the step pattern, which is whole half, whole, whole, whole half, whole. Choose whichever method you are fluent with. Like the Dorian scale, there are also three ways to build a Phrygian scale. The first way is to take any major scale and write two extra notes going up. For example, in C major, we take the scale C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C and keep going up for two extra notes, adding D and E. Finally, we erase the two notes on the bottom, C and D, to get E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. This scale is called E Phrygian. The second way is to take natural minor and lower scale degree 2 by a half step. The last way is using its own step pattern. Half whole whole whole, half whole whole. All three methods will lead to the same result. Let's talk about the Lydian scale. The first way is to take any major scale and write three extra notes going up. For example, in C major, we take the scale C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C and keep going up for three extra notes, adding D, E, F. Finally, we erase the three notes on the bottom, C, D, E, to get F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. This scale is called F Lydian. The second way is to take a major scale and raise scale degree four by a half step. And the last way is using its own step pattern. Whole, 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 half, whole, whole, half. Now, Mixolydian scale. The first way is to take any major scale and write four extra notes going up. For example, in C major, we take the scale C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C and keep going up for four extra notes, adding D, E, F, G. Finally, we erase the four notes on the bottom, C, D, E, F, to get G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. This scale is called G Mixolydian. The second way is to take a major scale and lower scale degree 7 by a half step. The last way is using its own step pattern, whole whole half, whole whole half, whole. Aeolian is exactly the same as natural minor. The step pattern is whole half, whole whole half, whole whole. So C Aeolian would be the same as C minor, E flat Aeolian would be the same as E flat minor, etc. Even though 
It is the same as minor. You still need to know the name because music theory exams will ask you for the name of the mode. To build a Locrian scale, take any major scale and write one extra note below the first note. For example, in C major, we take the scale C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C and write an extra B below the first note. Finally, we erase the top note, C, to get B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, which is called B Locrian. It is also equivalent to natural minor, except that scale degrees 2 and 5 are lower to half step. The step pattern of this scale is half whole whole, half whole whole whole. Now, let's learn how to identify modes. The first step is to write the major scale with the same number of sharps or flats as the mode. In the example shown in the picture, the top scale, to be identified, has four flats, so we need to write the major scale with four flats, which is A flat major. The next is to see what scale degree the bottom note of the mode is in the major scale. In the example, E flat is the bottom note of the mode so we need to find the scale degree of E flat in A flat major, which is 5. Finally, we use the scale degree we get from the previous step to find out the mode. If the number is 1, it is Ionian. If it is 2, then it's Dorian. 3 is Phrygian, 4 is Lydian, 5 is Mixolydian, 6 is Aeolian, and 7 is Locrian. Understanding how to build modes and picking the method that you are most comfortable with is the best way to start memorizing modes, but practicing is the only way to be able to memorize and identify modes quickly. Let's try it on the next slide. Name the mode. Locrian. Name the mode. Lydian. Conclusion. In this lesson, I introduced the modes Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, and Locrian, and ways to build them. For more practice, please download my Music Theory app. In the next lesson, we are going to talk about how to identify the key of a piece. See you next time!